Project Zomboid is a relentless challenge that never eases up, even for seasoned players. This unforgiving game spares no one, and a single error could dispel doom for a survivor with years of experience under their belt. However, with these advanced tips, you can extend your survival, if only by a little bit. This video marks the beginning of a three-part series aimed to help players with different knowledge levels. So, if you find this content valuable, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Project Zomboid content. Number 1. Save Game Backup Creating a backup of your game file is essential. Whether you're about to embark on a risky adventure with your 3-year-old character, or you are upgrading your computer and want to safeguard your progress. Fortunately, this process is quite simple. First, ensure the game is not running. Open your Windows Explorer and go to your Windows user file, typically located on the C drive. Inside your user folder, look for a folder named Sunboard. Inside that folder, you will find an icon labeled as Saves. Click on it to access your saved games, sorted by difficulty settings. As an example, if you want to back up a game created with sandbox settings, open the corresponding folder, select the saved game you want to backup, copy the selected saved game and paste it into the same sandbox folder. However, be sure to rename it so you can easily identify it later. Return to the game and select the load option. You'll now see the backup file you just copied, allowing you to restore your progress whenever needed. Number 2. Loot Vinegar and Chugar Yes, you heard that right. It is time to stock up on Vinegar and Chugar. These two items are absolute must-haves because when combined with water, a jar, and a jar lid, you will have a perfect recipe for preserving your crops indefinitely. Say goodbye to spoiled food and the hassle of cramming everything into your fridge. Number 3. Cooking Rotten Food During your playthroughs, you're bound to encounter spoiled food, whether in a supermarket, smith section, or from your own crops come bad. It is a given, so why not make the most out of it, since food can be really scarce depending on your settings. First, reach cooking level 7 to unlock the skill of cooking rotten food. Once cooked, these dishes can be consumed without causing food poison. Number 4. Engine quality. We usually pay a lot of attention to engine condition, but there's this sneaky thing called engine quality, hitting in the bottom right corner that many players tend to overlook. Well, engine quality is like the holy grail of your vehicle, since it doesn't matter how badly you treat your car, it stays put. Engine quality strongly influences your car's starting reliability. If you've got a perfect 100 in engine quality, your car is pretty much guaranteed to start every time. Well, almost every time. Other factors can still mess things up, so let's say a 99% success rate. Here's the deal. High quality engines are kinda rare. You might spot them in those abandoned emergency vehicles by the side of the road or in wrecks. So if you're lucky enough to find one, snatch it up, hold it back to your base, and get to work on those repairs. Number 5. Reduce your car's noises Just like checking engine quality, we can gauge our vehicle's noise level from the engine panel. Typically, heavy-duty cars make more noise compared to sport cars, and sport cars outshine standard ones in the noise department. But here's the kicker. Your muffler's condition has a major say in your car's noise level. If it is damaged, your car will be way louder. Good news though, mufflers can be fixed or swapped for better ones. So always make sure your mufflers in tip-top shape. And here's a little tip for keeping things quiet. Aim to keep your RPMs under 2000 when driving. That way, you will enjoy a more peaceful ride without all that racket. Number 6. Fire weapons while driving. Here's one final vehicle related tip for you. If you crack open your driver's window, you can actually fire weapons while behind the wheel. It's a nifty little feature that can prove quite powerful when you get the hang of it in various situations. For instance, it's an excellent tactic when you are overrun, keeping a layer of protection intact. But remember, if you want this method to be a success, always keep a sharp eye on your surroundings. Number 7. Battery Powered Lamps In Project Zomboid, it is frustrating that you can't set your flashlights underground while they're on to light up a room. This means that if you want to brighten a place without a power source, you have to hold the flashlight in one of your hands, severely limiting nighttime activities. The good news is that you can now craft battery powered lamps. Once you hit electrical level 6, 
and have a scrap electronics, a battery, and a screwdriver in your inventory, you can create a battery connector for your lamp. Pop in a battery and you've got a room filled with light, making those dark nights a lot less daunting. Number 8. Zombie Corpses as Sledgehammers If you haven't found a sledgehammer yet, try this trick. Place a zombie corpse beside the wall you want to break. With a can of gasoline and a lighter in your inventory, right-click on the zombie to burn it. This will also ignite the wall, granting you access to the place. Keep the fire in check with fire extinguishers or water bottles to prevent your loot from going up in smoke. Number 9. Party Animal. Alcohol is fun, and in Project Zomboid it can save lives. No, seriously, I'm not joking. Alcohol has so many calories that it is an ideal complement for your character's diet if you ever feel you can't manage to balance your character's weight. On top of that, it is a multi-use medicine. Can't sleep? Have a drink. Suffering from intense pain? Drink. Feeling stressed or panic? Drink. <laughs> Drink, drink, drink. You can even use it to disinfect wounds. So always keep a drink on hand and let the party roll. Number 10. Molotov Cocktails Here is another handy trick with alcohol we haven't discussed yet. You can craft Molotov Cocktails using bourbon. This becomes your deadliest weapon in the endgame when dealing with hordes. In fact, no other weapon or firearm can eliminate as many zombies as effectively as the ticking damage over time inflicted by a single Molotov. And there you have it, folks. These are my top picks for advanced level tips and tricks in Project Zomboid. What other tips for survival do you know of? Share them in the comments below. And if you want to watch the rest of the series, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our amazing community. And as always, happy surviving! Bye-bye!